Whitney. 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 What? You know what day it is? <sighs> what day is it? It's server upgrade day. Woo -woo! All right, server upgrade day. So what's that mean? Well, for me, it means installing eight more sticks of RAM, filling out all the slots in the server, taking in, throwing a hard drive. Well, I'm probably gonna use an SSD. No, not probably. I'm gonna use an SSD and throw it in this guy, pull the optical drive out, throw this in because you know, hey, hard drive space. Everybody loves it. And then I'm gonna pull out the Perk 700, replace it with this. This is an H200 that has been flashed into IT mode and it will allow me to utilize the ZFS options in Proxmox. So let's get started. Let's throw that RAM in first. Looking at the server, we have CPU one and CPU two. Uh, both are occupied right now. And then after that, you'll notice you have can't really see it over here. So let's look over here. You have a black tab and a white tab. Well, that's one channel for the RAM. You have three channels per CPU. The white is uh, the uh, your primary, I guess you would call it, that's your primary uh, slot for that channel. So you'll notice I have uh, channel one and two, or actually they're B1 and B2 occupied in the white slots because I don't have more than, than four sticks of RAM. Well, I'm gonna occupy the rest of the slots. I went the easy route, contacted the seller that I bought the server from and uh, got the exact same RAM from him that this machine already has in it. So it's not gonna be a big deal. But if, let's say uh, a couple different scenarios, if you only have a CPU, in slot one and you don't have one and two, there's no point in putting any RAM in this side because it has nothing to, uh, to utilize it. So put all your RAM on the same side as the CPU that uh, you have. If you have two CPUs, but your RAM is mismatched, let's say you have two uh, eight gigab gigabit sticks of RAM and two four gigabit sticks of RAM. You're gonna wanna put the eight in slot one, an eight in slot two, and then a four and a four, and just use two channels. Well, that's sloppy. Anyway, but just use two channels and you'll have 12 per channel instead of trying to put uh, two fours down here and give you eight and match them all up. That, that just won't work. The uh, Another thing you're gonna wanna remember is that if you're mix, mass, mix, mix matching RAM and you have two different speeds, let's say one of them is 1866, Ugh, that's horrible. And the other set is 1600. Your server is only going to utilize a speed of 1600, not the 1800. It's going to go with the slowest speed of the slowest stick of RAM that you have. So let's go ahead and, and start popping these guys in. The only thing you really need to make sure to do is if you look at the stick of RAM, you've got this little slot right here. There is also a little protrusion in the slot that you need to line up. That's the only really difficult part of this whole thing. You just slide it in and then you push down until these levers pop in. If they don't pop all the way in, give them a little help. So I'm going to just install RAM in the primaries here. And then I'm gonna fire the server up just to make sure everything's working. Then I'm gonna install the other six slots of RAM check them out, make sure they're working, but don't worry. I'm not gonna make you sit through, through that. So we'll be back in a few. Okay, so I installed the two sticks of RAM in the white slots and powered the machine up. Everything went just fine. So then I just went ahead and I threw the other six sticks of RAM into the system and this happened. So it's telling me that dim a6 is bad or there's something wrong with it so no big deal it's an old machine i mean this is old hardware here stuff goes bad every once in a while so i pulled out uh that stick of ram and then like i was talking about earlier keeping everything balanced i pulled out the stick of ram in b6 
and uh, fired the machine up. Everything started going good. I'm getting 80 gigabits of RAM, and that was followed up by this. And then I followed that up with this. So, yeah, it's been one of those nights so far, but I went ahead and I took out the sticks of RAM in A5 and B5 and fired the machine back up. Bing, bang, boom, everything's running. I don't have the 64 gig of RAM that I, or the 96 gig, or gig of RAM that I wanted. I have 64, but I think I'm going to end up buying some maybe 720 power supplies. I think that's what they are, 720 or 717, something like that. I'll, I'll look it up on eBay, and I'm going to buy a pair of them, slap all the RAM back in there, and see what happens. So server upgrade day so far. Eh, I'm not complaining. I just doubled the RAM, so that, that's no big deal. Next up, I am going to go ahead and take this this SSD to 250 Kingston, and I'm going to put it in the uh, little optical drive, I don't know, slug or whatever you want to call it. All you need to do is slide it in, pop it in, and then slide it down so it connects up to the... Uh, the pins or the slot at the bottom and i'm going to put a few screws in it and then we're going to get this guy installed all right to install this uh, it's pretty easy first we're going to have to take out the optical drive we're going to move this cable that hooks up to the back plane and then we have this blue cable that hooks into the optical drive right here so we're just going to jiggle that guy and pull him off and then push this blue button right here and push it out the front and then i'll set him off to the side take our hard drive slide it in take this cable right here and pop it on now that guy's not going to stay in there because it doesn't have the clip i guess i could yeah, actually, I could take this clip off. A couple screws. Uh, here, let's show you. A couple screws right there. And this guy has a couple screws on the back of it. So I'm going to do that real quick. All right. I had to use a Torx 6 head to get those screws out. But let's see if it uh, pops in there and locks into place. Look at that. It does. So we're going to hook this guy back up maybe and i'm gonna find out i'm gonna i think i got this guy from amazon i'll leave a link in the description of that uh slug or whatever you want to call it that way uh, if you want to do the same thing you can you can utilize the lock uh, i don't have affiliate links or anything so you know no big deal all right, I rebooted the machine and I jumped into the BIOS just to show you that uh, right here, number three, the embedded SATA port A, that's actually the optical drive that we replaced with the hard drive. Uh, I just went to the boot sequences in the BIOS just to click on it just to see if it recognized it, and it did. So, okay, last up is this right here, the H200. I got this from... Uh, off of eBay from a guy that has a YouTube channel. His name's Art of Server. Well, that's not his name. That's his channel's name. I don't know what his name is, but his channel's name is Art of Server, and his eBay store is Art of Server also. I'm going to leave links in the description to both of them, his channel and his eBay store. And the reason I want to do that is because I contacted him, and I told him what I was wanting to do. And he let me know that, hey, with the system you have and the, the old hardware you have, the card that you want is overkill. It won't even run it. The system you have won't even run that card at full speed. And he, he directed me to this guy, which was about a third of the price of the card that I wanted. So I thought that was this pretty amazing you know he could have just said hey schmuck here you go here's the card you wanted and and sent me on down the road but he didn't he he took the time to explain and and uh actually lost some money on the deal just to make sure that i was happy and i really appreciate that so thanks artist server appreciate it you're a good guy now let's get this thing installed
Okay, so to remove the H700, it's pretty easy. You just need to push down on this clip here, pull the SATA cable out, push down on this one, pull him out, and then we want to push on this blue tab here and this black tab back here and pull it backwards, hold the blue tab over, lift it up, and pull it out. I'm going to unhook the battery, backup battery here, and I'll remove that here in a second. And to put the new card in, you just slide it into the black tab, slide it down into the blue one, push it forward, and make sure you get your cables correct. This one was labeled A. On the H700, it was labeled A. And on the 200, it's actually labeled SATA 0 and B into SATA 1. So let's go ahead and throw the top back on this guy, boot it up, and make sure it recognizes the new card. And there it is. The server recognizes the new card. The new card sees all the hard drives that are installed right now. So, hey, I'm a happy camper. All right, server upgrade day. We got two and one woo woo so yeah maybe next time we'll get all three of them i'm gonna go ahead and order new power supplies hopefully get all that ram installed in there one more thing i wanted to mention was the it card i don't know if you noticed it or not but i installed it into the not the it card but the uh, raid card that was flashed into it mode i installed it into the integrated slot in there and that was something that artist server did he, he set it up to where i could use it in that slot and it left the other two pcie slots available to me for the 10 gig 10 gig nic card i have and hopefully a video card that i'll be using for transcoding in plex or something like that so uh hey if you enjoy these videos uh do me a favor jump down and karate chop the like button and roundhouse kick the subscribe button and thanks for watching